the study of the population is called the demography and uh, demography actually has the certain characteristics of the given population yani wahan par age group hum dekhte hain wahan male female ratio dekha jata hai wahan par uska jo education level hai wo dekha jata hai so these are the um, population characteristics of uh, the region uh, now uh, most of the jo area hai that is actually इफ वी आर डिवाइडिंग द प्लानट इन टू टू पार्ट तो उसमें हम उसको डिवेलप्ड और डिवेलपिंग एरिया कह सकते हैं सो मोस्ट ऑफ द जो पॉपुलेशन चेंज है हम जब उसकी स्टडी करते हैं यानी एक पॉपुलेशन में कैसे चेंज आ रही है सो दैट इज ड्यू टू द नेचर इंक्रीज है एंड ड्यू टू माइग्रेशन है सो वाई पॉपुलेशन इज चेंजिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द नेचुरल इंक्रीज यानी उसमें जो कुदरती चेंज है वो या तो आ रहा है या वो बाहर से कुछ चीज़ें ऐसी ऐड हो रही हैं जिससे वो पॉपुलेशन के साइज में कमी आ रही है या बाहर अंदर से बाहर की तरफ जा रही हैं तो पॉपुलेशन में भी चेंज आ रही है सो दैट इज एक्चुअली द थिंग विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन स्टडिंग द डेमोग्राफिक करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन सो इन स्टडिंग दिस थिंग द टोटल एनुअल बर्थ वर highest in the late 1980s uh, uh, at about 139 million and are now expected to remain um, uh, essentially constant at their uh, 2011 level of 135 million in the world population so uh, most of the jo birth hain uh, those are belongs to the less developed countries and developing countries also um, uh, but uh, those are also related with the developed nations सो बर्थ रेट जो है वो 135 जो मिलियन है एनुअली उसमें हो रही हैं यानी एनुअली जो न्यू बॉर्न बेबीज हैं वो 139 बिलियन मिलियन आ रहे हैं सो दैट इज अ फिगर ऑफ द 1980s बट नाउ इट इज इज क्लोजर टू द 135 मिलियन इन वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन now according to the cia world fact book uh, gives the world annual birth rate as 1.89% mortality rate as 0.79 and uh, growth rate as 1.096% so uh, so population jo change hai jab bhi hum kisi bhi country ki dekhte hain to that is uh, why because of its पॉपुलेशन में जो बर्थ्स हो रही हैं एंड पॉपुलेशन में जो डेथ्स डेथ्स हो रही हैं दोनों को जब हम माइनस करते हैं तो दैट इज एक्चुअली द ग्रोथ ऑफ द एरिया सो सेम इज द केस विद द वर्ल्ड हम दुनिया में भी यही देखते हैं कि कितनी डेथ्स हैं और कितनी बर्थ्स हैं उसका जो माइनस है करते हैं तो जो रिमेनिंग फिगर है दैट इज एक्चुअली द ग्रोथ ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन now in the world population uh, the death numbers are 56 million per year and are expected to increase in the world population um, is 80 million per year so if it is 135 million births and uh, 56 million deaths hain to usko jo minus karenge that is actually 80 million per year so 80 million people are coming every year on the planet so Uh, this is actually the uh, the uh, the uh, rise of population this is the uh, the growth rate of the population now as we have discussed earlier that the birth rates are more than the death rate kyun isliye ke medical facilities hain kuch areas jo hai wo developed ho chuka hua hai but some of the areas are under fast uh, Uh, developing nations mein hai and most of the area jo hai under less developed areas mein hai so less developed areas mein hum dekhte hain ki wahan par jo hai wo death rate bahut kam hai aur birth rate bhi kam hai but take the example of the first the birth rate jisme decline aayi hai in 1980s 1980s mein we have a sharp decline in uh, birth rate and death rate because of the information flow hai and the rise of economic condition of the families and uh, the people are migrating toward the urban centers so this is one of the reason but the most important is the medical jo advancement aayi hai usse jo hai aapki deaths kam hui hain and births bhi kam hui hain so passage of time jo hai isme jo natural increase hai wo ab dekhte hain ki that is also actually related with the birth rate also so this is one of the reason ke we are dealing with the natural increase of the area
Now this map shows the nature increase in population. The most of the areas are under darker shade and those are the region where we have the less economies. Now take the example of the Africa. These are the nations where we have the more than 3% growth rate annually. So here are birds bhi zyada hai, deaths bhi zyada hai, lekin birds are so zyada hai ke uska growth rate bad gaya. And then the second example belongs to the fast growing nations, jis mein hum dekhte hai ke most of the countries belongs to again Africa and India, Bangladesh, the Canada. Ab Canada ki jo example hai, it is why because of the migrants. So immigration wahan par hai not belongs to the nature increase it is actually related with the immigration also but uh, most of the countries belongs to the 2 to 2.9 percent growth rate belongs to africa and 1 to 1.9 percent belongs to south america also now here we have the crude birth rate the crude cbr we actually the total number of births per thousand per year is called the crude birth rate so here we have again the countries which are in orange, the beige color, the yellow colors are the countries where we have the high birth rates and the blue color, the light blue color and the green color belongs to the less birth rate areas. Now it varies, the birth rate varies widely around the world. In recent years, South Asia, Sub-Sahara Africa and North Africa continues to record the highest birth rate by region. Although India has dropped from the highest category, many countries in Africa still have birth rate over 40 per thousand and few have reached or exceed 50. But deterioration health condition are causing death rates in Africa to raise or reducing rates of nature increase. The lowest birth rate are in Europe where most countries have CBRs below 15. Other areas with low birth rate are North America, Australia, New Zealand, Japan and China. It is clear that low birth rate are associated with modernization, industrialization and urbanization. Now this map shows the fertility rate per woman according to the World Factbooks 2013 data. We can see that the same areas are in darker shade where the growth rate is more than the birth 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 rate. Now, total fertility rate is also called the TFR. This is a measure of the number of children born to women of childbearing age. The TFR is usually reported as the number of children per woman. Today, TFR are falling almost everywhere on the earth. And in same countries, they are declining dramatically. Kenya's TFR is now down to 4.3%. China fell from 6.1 to 1.7 in just 30 years. The experience of Iran where the TFR fell from 6.8 in 1980 to 2.7 in recent years. Now this is the map of the crude death rate, number of deaths per thousand per year. Now again the darker shades represents the less economies and this actually belongs to the crude death rate of the countries. It is also called the CDR is the number of deaths per thousand people in a given year also called the mortality rate. This figure has declined more dramatically than births and fertility rates. Now in crude uh, death rate, uh, the infant mortality rate is very important. Yani wahaan par uh, less economies hai, less developed areas hai, uh, wahaan par jo death rate zyada honne ki badi waja ye bhi hai ke uh, jo wo bache jo ke ek saal ki umar tak pahunchte hai, uh, unki uh, deaths hoti hain zyada because of the uh, condition which is not suitable for the uh, mother even for the children so these are the less developed countries so here we have the maximum deaths before the age of one uh, so this is called the infant mortality rate